working hard on your projects for the science fair. Science fair? I don't see what's fair about it. <laughs> Unless you're smart and work hard and apply yourself, you don't win a ribbon. <laughs> it should be called the science unfair. Very nice, Echo. I'm powering this light bulb using a, a hydrogen hy fuel cell. I use this battery to extract, extract the hydrogen from the water. Please, let me finish your sentence. Sure. You know, you could greatly increase the efficiency of the fuel. Would you let me do my own project? Wow. You didn't have to cut me off. I'm just trying to help you win the science fair. Once again, fair. I'll be fine on my own. It's not like I have much competition. Derby, wake up. I am awake. You don't look like you're awake. I'm just thinking about science. <laughs> oh, uh, OK, then. Why don't you believe me? <laughs> I love science. <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go back to thinking about science. <laughs> Good luck at the science fair tonight. Yeah, luck. Right. What are you doing? What, me? Uh, nothing. Adam. OK, I'm just helping Echo a little. I've been doing some research, and I believe that by adding some high hydrogen content ammonia boring to the water, the efficiency of the fuel cell should increase exponentially. I'll take a bath in a minute, Mom. I'm recording something for science class. What? How did you know what I would do? You're very predictable. No one. Or two. <laughs> anyway, do you mind waking me up? I don't want to miss lunch. Jerk. <laughs> What's this? Something about how caterpillars turn into butterflies? It may seem so to the untrained eye. Yeah, Mrs. Byrne. To the trained eye, it's... You finished, Slab. <laughs> caterpillars are a lot like nerds. Nerds started weak and spineless. But, like butterflies, they emerge as something awe-inspiring. Doctors, engineers, scientific innovators. That's very enlightened of you, Slab. Thanks. Now all we have to do is wait. <laughs> so, what's your project? I take this everyday balloon and make it stick to the board. Ah! You're a witch! She's a witch. Let's burn her. Mrs. Byrne, she's not a witch. If she were a witch, I'd be scared and crying like a little girl. Well, look how it just stays there. That's witchcraft. She practices the dark arts. It's Ivy. She doesn't practice anything. It's not witchcraft. Anyone can do it. Oh, yeah? You try it. Welcome, judges. My project is on the importance of turning off lights. Ah, to conserve energy. Yep, my energy. I can't see the switch to turn the lights back on. Derby, wake up. I am awake. It doesn't sound like you're awake. I'm just thinking about science. Oh, OK, then. Maybe Echo can help, Principal Tater. I guess so. 
My hydrogen fuel cell will power a tiny light bulb. I just have to connect the wires. Apology accepted. <laughs> Here, let me help. Finally, I can walk into the light. <laughs> My fuel cell can power all those lights? Don't be so modest. This project is nothing short of genius. And you did it all yourself. No one helped. Just you. All alone. I guess you're right. And I thought Ivy's balloon thing was unbeatable. <laughs> of the Salem witch trials. You're not teaching us about the War of 1812? How do you know there will be a war in 1812, witch? I'm not a witch. That's just what a witch would say. There, look at the next item. I don't live in a candy house. Sure you don't. You can come over and see for yourself. Trying to lure me into your candy house? So you can fat me up and eat me? Well, forget! <laughs> Is the banister made of candy cane? <laughs> no, forget it! <laughs> I won a ribbon at the science fair. It just says participant. <laughs> I know, but I didn't really participate. <laughs> Echo, I see you're wearing your first place ribbon. Yeah, I know it's silly, but I did earn it. All by myself. With no one's help. Just me. Alone. Second place. Just because I forgot to give the nerd jar air holes. Echo? I'm afraid you can no longer attend Finnegan High. What? No, don't blame her for mine. Because you're just too darn smart. <laughs> Your fuel cell project is way beyond what anybody around here can do. They've all made a full recovery. <laughs> anyway, Echo, we're graduating you. Great Northern University is giving you a scholarship. Wow, I'll be a college girl. And maybe after I graduate, I'll become a high school teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> High school teacher. Oh, what a waste of genius. Perfect. Got your witch. Why aren't you melting? And why aren't you in? Go with heaven. I knew I should have dropped a house on you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's graduating class. This is actually one more graduate than last year. This is a really bad school. Please take the stage when you hear your name. I will read it in alphabetical order. Echo Zizzle Swift. I see so much of myself in you. I mean, except for the graduating from high school part. Let go! No, you can't leave Finnegan. Finnegan needs you. <laughs> Finnegan can't live without you. Finnegan will be just fine. You're too young for college. You went when you were nine. And look how I turned out. <laughs> Good point. But I'm going anyway. You get to hit people with chairs at graduation? I should start applying myself. <laughs> Let's go with pretty. I knew it. I knew you were a witch. 
now that you know my secret, I'm going to turn you into a toad. Poop. I don't feel any different. <laughs> turn me back! Turn me back! What's that? All I heard was crow, 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 crow. Did I hear right? Mrs. Byrne finally croaked? <laughs> oh. I can't believe Echo's really gone. You must be in too much pain to teach. No, I can teach. I get it. It hurts, man. <laughs> oh, it's Echo. Hello? Hi, Adam. Hi, Echo. How are things at university? OK, I guess. I just had my theoretical particle physics class, and I didn't understand a thing. Which is weird, because I'm a science genius. <laughs> of course, there's more to college than study. There is. That's all I remember. Sure. In fact, this group of nice boys invited me to the frat house tonight. <laughs> What? They're having a traffic light party. A traffic light party. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried it was some wild event where people hit on each other. It turns out they're just going to learn about traffic safety. Uh, it's actually a that first thing. Everyone dresses to advertise the relationship status. Red means stop. I'm in a relationship. Yellow means slow down. It's complicated. And green means it's go time. Adam, oh. are you still there? I've got to take a shower before the party. Did you know the bathrooms here are co-ed? Well, I gotta go. Bye. We can't let it go go. I know what goes on at frat parties. I went to college where I took a class called the History of Frat Parties. <laughs> it's just like I remember it from my college textbook. <laughs> I knew we'd get in if we brought someone college-aged with us. Thanks for coming with us, Slap. <laughs> Why are you wearing yellow? Because the thing Echo and I have is complicated. You and Echo don't have anything. That doesn't seem complicated at all. Even to me. Yeah, it's only complicated in your head. If anything, you should just wear a yellow hat. Forget me. Why are you in red? You're not in a relationship. Shh. Girls want what they can't have. If they think I'm unavailable, they'll be more interested. Well, they couldn't be less interested. Well, you guys drink soda at oh, night? There's Echo. <laughs> Why is she wearing green? Because she's not in a relationship. Not complicated. I'm wearing green, too. Ivy? What are you doing here? This. Hi. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> You're cute. Yes, I am. <laughs> Maybe we should go somewhere and be cute together. Sounds great. Too bad you're not available. <laughs> Bye. Echo? Echo Zizzle Swift? <laughs> I haven't seen you since back in high school. Adam, what are you doing here? Th these are my old frat buddies from my college days. You know these guys? Sure. There's Bucky, Boomer, Scooter, Duke, Fat Joey, Loogie, Knuckles, Sparkles, Other Duke, Chip, Crazy Eddie, Honest Ed, Fonzie, The Captain, El Jefe, Pancake Pete, Cobra, Lil Mickey, and that guy? Never seen it before. <laughs> you look chilly. Here, take this shawl. <laughs> this is a bath mat. I'll see you later, Adam. I'm gonna go ask Pancake Pete to dance. <laughs> oh. Oh. How exciting! A traffic light party. <laughs> Why are you in green? I'm a toad! <laughs> now let's go find that witch so you can make her turn me back. Ribbit. 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 
You guys are my size. What magical land is this? <laughs> We're football players. We're on the news. <laughs> oh, I don't watch the news. I'm so glad we're together. Gotta go. You're wearing yellow? I thought we were a couple. What's complicated about that? Don't bother begging. We're through. If only I had an outfit to better represent my new relationship status. Which, to be clear, would be green for available. My ears hear green, but my eyes see red. I can't take any chances. No, take some chances. Take one chance. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ivy, I need your help. I'm busy. But this is important. Oh, you're in luck. I just freed up. Would you please just... Sorry, can't talk. I'm busy again. You know when a relationship is new, you don't have time for other people. Actually, you guys probably don't know that. Come on, let's go. What are we gonna do? The only other thing that can break the spell is a kiss. Fine. I guess I have no choice. <laughs> I'm a prince, not a bald loser. <laughs> In what fairy tale does a kiss from a bald loser do anything? <laughs> Ribbit. 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 Oh, you guys. <laughs> hey, Echo. You looked hungry, so I got you a hot dog. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, let me put ketchup on that. I hope I don't get any on your green outfit. Huh. Hey, butthead, you got ketchup all over my red shirt. Get him! Derby, help! Hey, get back here! I've got to find a green outfit. Hey there, gorgeous. Look who's wearing green. Why aren't you on the football team? Because I'm in high school. When you graduate, you got a spot on the team. Really? I feel like I'm on top of the world. Actually, you're on top of my pancreas, which is now on top of my freshly punctured lung. <laughs> that kiss was disgusting. It almost made me throw up the flies I ate for lunch. Mrs. Byrne, how exactly did Ivy turn you into a toad? Using witchcraft. She pointed at me and said, poof! Poof. There you go, I changed you back. Oh, look at my reflection. I'm beautiful again. Good. Now, can we just... Warlock! I guess the party's over. Stupid warlock. Wait, stop! Wait, stop again! The hydrogen fuel cell I created can power this entire building. Uh-oh. All I need is a jar of water, some wire, two metal coils, and a car battery. GNU scavenger hunt champions five years running. Echo, uh, I'm not sure that's the right kind of coil. Done. I don't understand. 
hand. I did everything exactly the same way. Except have Adam secretly change your project. <laughs> Derby? What? I didn't say anything. Sorry, I've got a big mouth. <laughs> so I'm not a genius? Looks like you're going back to high school with the other idiots. Echo, I'm so sorry. Save was... it, Mr. Young. <laughs> See? Not complicated. Here you go. Hello! I graduated and I'm ready to join the football team! <laughs> Hello? Bucky? Boomer? Scooter? Duke? There you are, Slap. I'm afraid I'll have to take this diploma back. What? Why? I rewrite your history paper. There was no war in 1812. Now back to high school with you. <laughs> 